Yo, what's good with it? Welcome back to A1 Hoop Zone. Man, y'all already know what to do. Hit that like button. Sub to the channel if you're new. Let's dive into it, man. So we got some some breaking news. Definitely surprising, man. Bradley Bill's going to the Phoenix Suns in exchange for uh, Chris Paul and Landry Shamit. Um, Washington, um, if I was to put a grade on this, man, I'd give them a, a F minus minus. <laughs> um, yeah, for the Suns, I mean, I mean, obviously they they it's clear as day they won the trade value, and there's why. Uh, Bradley Bill at, at this stage in his career, and obviously the stage of Chris Paul and um, Landry Shamit, those two do not equal up to a Bradley Bill talent. Um, Bradley Bill is one of those players, and obviously he was he was with Washington, has been there for about eleven years. We we've seen what Bradley Bill has the ability to do, his capability, his skill set, things of that nature. Man, we've seen what he and again he's coming into his own now. Where he's one of the he's one of the ones where you you, you got a scheme and game plan for Bradley Bill. He can do everything. He can shoot the three, the mid range, attack the rim, finish with either hand, get his teammates involved. Um, the defensive end, I would say, is the only thing that did you can, that you can say is a lacking part of his of his uh, skill set. But even there, you know, he still can play a little bit of defense too. He's just not out there being taken advantage of. Um, so definitely, again, the Suns won and won the trade in that. Uh, from a Suns perspective, man, how do you look at it? You know, how you you in a, essentially you almost got the same player between Bradley Bill and Devin Booker. So how's it going to work? You know what I mean? Uh, you got two players that's extremely similar, similar in size, height, um, game is similar as well. So it's going to be very interesting. Uh, we all know KD can fit in any system. Uh, he can catch and shoot. Obviously, he can he can score off the dribble. He can he can do it all. So K, KD is not too much of the concern. It, the more so of the concern is how is Bradley Bill and Devin Booker's game going to mesh? That that's more of the concern, or more of the not really necessarily a concern, but just curiosity to see how that's going to play out. How they're going to be able to gel off of one another? You know, we we're going to have to wait and see how that goes, um, and do it. That also, and out of curiosity as well, are they going to look to pick up uh, an, another point guard that's a pass first type point guard? Are they going to uh, move Cameron Payne to to the starting position? You know what I mean? I'm very curious to see how, what they're going to do with the point guard role. Uh, I, I highly doubt they'll have Devin Booker handling and initiating majority of the offense. Why? Uh, Devin Booker is one of those players, man, where he likes to – he catch and shoot at time, but he prefers to create his shot off the dribble more so than anything. If you don't believe me, go back and look at some of the highlights and you'll see it. He can definitely catch and shoot, but he prefers to be off the dribble on his own. Uh, that's just like the preference that I picked up and seen from him. Um, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm very curious to see how this is going to work out. Now, again, back to back to Bradley Bill. He can initiate the offense. Bradley Bill, you know, over with the Washington Wizards, man, he played a lot of the uh, point guard position as well. Obviously, when he had Westbrook, you know, they kind of went back and forth with handling, ball handling duties and things of that nature. But then when you look at the team, as far as teams is left, he handled a lot of the ball handling too. So can that be a situation where they're asking – Bradley Bill to be more of a playmaker or asking Bradley Bill to be more of the point, the point score type thing. That's something that's way to be seen. So I'm I'm very curious to see how they're going to utilize him, how are they going to put that together to make that happen. That that's one thing I'm 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 very excited to see how they're going to play and how things are going to work out for that. Obviously, there's going to be at least one, if not two, uh of the of their big three on the court at all times, uh between KD, Devin Booker, and Bill. So it should be interesting. Um, does this make them the overwhelming favorite? No, we, we got to wait to see how it pans out and happens. We've seen situations where you throw some players together and it don't pan out, so we have to wait and see. But, uh, again, Suns will definitely win win on this trade, man. And uh, Wizards, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I got some D.C. brothers out there, so I'm, I'm curious to hear what they're going to say, man. Probably they're going to be pissed off. But, hey, either way, we're going to have to wait and see, man. But – uh, again, man, breaking news on that. Ex uh, excited for Bradley Bill. Hopefully, it moves him one step closer to to you know, saying getting at least being able to showcase his talents on the highest level. Uh, and I can't wait to see it. I'm just hoping that you know this is a domino effect, and you see some other marquee names that's been in you know with these franchises for years on end, and and just I wouldn't call it wasting years, but definitely you don't want to waste those prime years. And you know what I mean? People, certain people getting at that age like a Dame Lillard and some other people that's getting to the age where they loyal to the soil. But at the same time, uh, us as a fan base, man, we want to see you guys win, win that win that chip or at least have the opportunity to showcase your talents on the big stage or the biggest stage. You know what I mean? Uh, I know with them, you know, if they come, they come. If they don't, they don't. A lot of them, you know what I'm saying, they made 
they got it out the mud, they made it, they grinded hard, and they got to the place where they at. They're not being complacent, but at the same time, they also not, you know what I'm saying, they're not ring chasing either. And I can absolutely respect that, you know what I mean? Um, but I would love to see, you know what I'm saying, Dane get a ring for sure, man. Uh, but same with Bradley Bill, uh, same with Devin Booker, so we're going to have to wait and see. But um, again, man, I think Sun, Sun's definitely won on the trade. Now we just got to wait and see how it plays out. But that's all I got for you, man. I appreciate you coming through. Make sure you hit that like button, sub to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this trade. Who won it? Who won between the two? What do you think the Wizards' next move is going to be since they, they decided to go ahead and let go of their franchise player? What do you think they aiming for? And uh, we're here for it, man. I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of the comments, man. And if you wish to support the channel, uh, that information is scrolling at the bottom of the screen. It's also in the description of the video. Again, I appreciate you stopping through, and I'll catch you on another one.